Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little fun doing a get ready with me using all Chanel products. I was very inspired by watching the Emmys kind of behind the scenes get ready with some of the stars such as Brie Larson, Jennifer Aniston, and it inspired me to go pick up a few products that they used. And I actually have an event that I am going to this evening. So, so I thought it'd be super fun to do a full face of Chanel inspired by the Emmys. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look using all Chanel beauty products, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to have a little bit of fun today. I'm going to be doing a full face of Chanel. I am actually going to a charity work event tonight and I got so inspired by watching all the um, Emmys get ready with me. Um, Brie Larson, Jennifer Aniston. That's my gal. That's the one I always want to look like. So I ended up getting so inspired by watching those behind the scenes get ready with me that I ended up purchasing a few items that I didn't already have in my collection. And so today you guys are going to help me get ready for this event. Now, of course, one of the things that all these professional makeup artists do is start by prepping their skin and they're always using the sublimage line. So I pulled out a bunch of my sublimage samples. We're going to actually prep my skin um, using some of those products. I do have to admit I'm always tempted um, to pick up some of the Chanel skincare because it looks so beautiful. First thing I am going to do is I pulled out this sublimage la lotion i believe this is like an essence and if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know i love a good essence and that's exactly what this is and ooh, i am going to pat this la lotion on my face here I had previously already put on my SPF, um, so I'm doing additional prep today just for fun. But then I'm going to use one of my favorite eye creams. I have actually purchased several of the Sublimage um, La Creme. Yeah, I do really, really like that eye cream. So. That is something I would repurchase. It just feels fabulous underneath the eyes here. Just going to take a minute to hydrate right there. Tap that in. We're going to do the whole darn thing today. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this La Sense Fondamental. I think this is a little bit of a thicker essence. We're just going to coat it on, guys. Might as well try some of these products. Ooh, I like the texture of this. And that is what it looks like. It is almost like a cream-like essence. It has a really, really beautiful texture here. I'm just going to come up here. And these products do have a um, slight scent to them. I believe it is that vanilla... Plana Fior, I'm not saying that right, but that um, ingredient that's like an active ingredient in the Chanel skin care. Um, but I know fragrance can be tough for many people, including myself. So having a little fun today using some of these products and it feels lovely, very hydrating. And then it seems like the last step that they are doing um, for before the prep, before makeup, is using the Sublimage La Creme. And this is a super luxe 
hydrating cream. This is something I have actually purchased before. I know I'm a sucker for packaging. I clearly love Chanel products, um, but I call this kind of like creamy butter cream. It's so good. And it feels so nice and hydrating on the skin. So the key to any good makeup here is to make sure your skin's nice and hydrating so all of the products can kind of apply to a nice canvas here. Okay, we have prepped my skin. Typically, if people are going to a red carpet, um, they don't want SPF flashback. Um, so previously I had put on sunscreen, but for the purposes of glamming it up today, we're just going to leave the skin like this. And then for foundation, this is something that I do always use if I'm going to an event and I need a little bit more coverage, is I like to use the Ultra Latente. This is, is the All Day Comfort flawless perfection foundation um, and I find this to be a really beautiful foundation in general like it I don't find it to be um, super high coverage I kind of think of it more as a medium coverage it is semi matte I think a lot of people with my aged skin, um, more mature dry skin, kind of shy away from this foundation, but actually I find it to be super comfortable. Um, it's just a gorgeous one and this is literally my go-to anytime I want more coverage, anytime I know that I need something more long-lasting. Um, this is the one I'm going to reach. And I actually have it in two shades. I have it in shade BR32. Um, that's the one. It's a little bit deeper. It's going to give my skin a little bit more life. And then like my everyday color in Chanel is BR22. Like the part of the reason I love Chanel so much is I know my foundation color. But what I am going to do is I am going to mix this like my favorite combo for kind of beautiful skin is going to be using the Chanel Le Beige. This is the Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. This one's in Sun Kissed. And I find this to be the perfect combo ever. So I use one pump of this and one pump of the Ultra Latente and it's just going to give you the most beautiful skin. So I'm going to go ahead. So I'm taking one pump of that Sunkissed Healthy Glow Fluid and then I am taking one pump of BR22 and then what I'm going to do is mix these together and you'll see it's not going to be too bronzy or anything like that and then I'm going to put a little bit of this on. I'm going to try to be more like professional makeup artists where they don't put too much product on. They start light and then start to build. And I'm just going to start to buff this into the skin here. A little light layer and then we're going to start to build. So I'm just taking some of this from my hand. I'm trying to be a little bit more pro today. Normally I would just kind of slap all of this on but I notice whenever I watch professional makeup artists they just really really go in so lightly with their products so that they can um, build where they need it and I will be using some concealer so we can always spot you know add some more of that okay here is what that foundation looks like with that one pump 
of that highlighting fluid. I always just feel like it gives me the best kind of healthy glow base. Then I just picked up another one of my Le Corrector de Chanel. I had finished off another one of this concealer and I have this in the shade BR22. That tends to be my go-to shade in Chanel. And I really like this one because it's sort of gel based. I love the sublimage in the pot. I think that is a fantastic underneath the eyes. That one, the one in the pot. I really like that one, but for longer lasting makeup, I tend to like to use my Chanel, um, the gel one. I find that it just kind of performs a little bit longer for me. And I like this one because again, it's gel based. I find that it sort of has a little flex to it. Um, this is just like a consistent concealer that I will always have in my repertoire. So I'm kind of coming in here where I'm a little darker. And then I have a little spot here. I'm going to kind of just highlight or, you know, perfect where I need it. Just a little bit more coverage. on the skin. I actually switched brushes to this uh, Nikki La Rose number 14. Uh, by the way, I really like her uh, BK Beauty. Her brushes are amazing. I like all BK Beauty brushes, but um, her little launch was really amazing. So I see myself using those a lot. Okay, we've got our little canvas on here. What I do like to do is just kind of take the warmth of my hands and my fingers and I kind of like to press everything into the skin. Not too much, but I just find that then that sort of meshes that makeup in um, and doesn't look quite as makeup-y, so. Loving the foundation. Then I am going to warm up the skin. I'm going to be using my Le Beige um, Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. And this one is in the middle shade. I believe that's um, medium tan. And I'm going to be using my Chanel brush here. This is the Fluid Powder Foundation number 101. But I like this one for my bronzer here. And we are going to kind of come up into that forehead kind of right here don't worry i'm gonna blend everything out i'm just gonna kind of outline where i'm putting this i'm gonna sculpt that outer sculpt that chin here I'm kind of shortening my forehead here. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend everything. It looks a little crazy and orange right here. But what I'm gonna do is take a minute to really blend this into the skin around the perimeter of my face. Okay, we've got a little bit of warmth on the skin. I just like blended that in. And then we're gonna take my favorite cream to powder blushes, add a little bit of color to the complexion before we move on to eyes. And I'm gonna start with this beautiful beige eclatante cream to powder blush like this is one of my favorites it's going to be a neutral blush and we can always go in and add a little pop of pinkiness with one of my other rose colors so um, what I'm going to do I'm using my heavenly complexion brush I tend to like to kind of dip this in here and then we're going to stamp this onto my cheeks 
and I'm going to try to place it a little higher up and I may be going a little heavy handed with the blush to start with but do not worry I'm going to blend everything in like kind of when you're doing makeup for events I almost feel like with blush you want to start a little bit um a little bit more and then it'll kind of all come together I also did pick up um, the Ultra Latente Powder Foundation, and that I'm going to kind of use as my powder. Um, that one can be used as just a foundation. It's going to give me some extra coverage, so I'm just going to place it where I need it. Um, and I will do a full review of that powder foundation. But, but for today's purposes, I knew I loved the Ultra Latente, so I wanted to stick with something I knew. So just coming in with this beige Eclatante. I freaking love this blush so much. I think it just looks so natural on the skin. It's just giving me a little bit of color here. And then I'm going to come into my Rose Radiant color here. And I'm just going to kind of focus right here. I can always add more at the end, but I just want to add just a little pop of rose right there. We're going to be doing more of a warm toned eye today. So I still want just a little bit of that Radiant Rose. Okay, so I've got my cream products on and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this new Ultra Latente Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Compact. Um, so many of you wanted me to review this foundation. It just came back in stock and I do like a good powder foundation as long as it's not drying on my skin, but I heard that this was fabulous. And so here is the um, foundation right here. It comes with a little puff just like that. I'm not sure if I want to use the puff or not, because it's probably going to give me um, some really good coverage. But you know what? We'll put a little bit of this ooh, on my nose and just kind of see how this foundation works here. I am excited to use this just as foundation. We'll do that like maybe tomorrow, but for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of this foundation here and I am going to just come down the midline kind of anywhere that I'm going to want to reduce shine or need a little extra coverage. And again, I don't want to get rid of the shine kind of on my cheeks, so I'm just kind of focusing on the outer perimeter, but we'll do a little just all over the face. And we can add more blush at the end if we think we need it. Okay, gave me a little extra coverage. Again, kind of excited. We'll try that just as our regular foundation. Next, um, so one of the things that I was inspired to pick up was the old school eye quad in spices. I really love the older formula of Chanel eyeshadows. I know they all look sort of like um, glittery in the pan, but if you've ever actually used them, they're not. And spices just was calling my name. That is what Brie Larson used behind the scenes was that and it's just such a gorgeous eye quad so this is what it looks like and it's just like perfection so it's kind of like almost like a little ballet pink a little peachy this gorgeous um, bronze here and then a little pop color so let me give you so this is what it looks like, as you can see, very subtle 
but gorgeous kind of my eye and I'm so excited about this about this eye quad because it's right up my alley it is neutral but it's got some pretty kind of reflection on the eye and on her she's clearly so beautiful but they gave her a nice um, kind of natural look, but it definitely had some impact on the eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this gorgeous sort of peachy toned color here. I'm gravitating towards these two. And what I liked about her eye look, um, again, it just looked really kind of soft, natural. And I'm just going to take that peachy shade I'm using um, a Chanel brush. The number has worn off, but I will link it down below so you have that. And I'm just going to start by subtly windshield wiping that peach color right in my crease. And as I will, as you can see, um, I think people get scared by these because they look kind of all shimmers. They really are not. They have like this kind of gorgeous texture. It has a, a little bit of sheen to it, um, but it works really, really well for mature eyes. Okay. I love that kind of clean aesthetic right on my eye so far. Then I'm coming into this gorgeous, I want to say like ballet pink color here. And I'm going to put that kind of right on that inner mobile lid. Soft kind of petal peachy eye here. Really soft, kind of ethereal eye. I'm going to dip into this little brown shade. I'm just going to lightly do the outer corner, maybe bring a little bit of that into that crease. But again, I'm trying to leave the eye sort of like a clean aesthetic. Um, we're going to use a eyeliner as well, uh, just near the lash line. So I'm just coming in. I don't want to do too much, but when it meshes with the other peachy shades, it kind of makes it this really pretty, ooh, that's pretty, bronze color. So bringing this slightly up, I'm going to blend everything, so do not worry. Nice, nice little soft touch there. I'm going to come back into this original shade here. Just going to deepen it a little bit because I love that color. What I've cre created so far. Again, these are the kind of shadows I like. They're kind of soft and muted. It's going to be a little bit subtle, but I kind of find that it's sort of like that understated glam. And then I'm going to come into this pop shade. We're only going to do a little bit of this like white right here. I'm going to just kind of come right above the iris. And I'll take a little bit of this and dab it right in that inner corner. Okay, this is what I've created 
so far on the I, and then on Brie, they used the Stilo Yu waterproof eyeliner in Ebene or Abine. I never know quite how to say that, but this is going to be kind of a soft black color. And really what they did is just kind of wiggled through like her lash line. And then I'm going to come back through with this beautiful chocolatey color and I'm going to intensify near the lash line and bring a little bit of that chocolate color underneath just to connect the eyes. But I'm going to try hard not to get too much transfer of this liner onto the bottom. I have more mature eyes, naturally get some of that, but I'm going to try. So I'm just going to come over here with this soft kind of black color and getting a little pop of the eyes right here and keeping that near that lash line. Don't worry, I'll connect everything. One eye always likes to kind of do that transfer, but basically um, that soft black is going to give a little bit more impact on the eyes. I generally go with a little softer brown for myself, but I find that that um, a bean um, or ebene um, is like a soft enough black, it's going to give my eyes some impact, but on the day to day, I tend to go for softer brown, so it's not quite as intense. I'm taking a little fine edged brush here, and I'm going to come over and I'm putting some of, and I'm basically putting a little bit of that brown close to the lash line. Taking whatever's left there and putting a little bit of brown underneath my lash line just to connect the top to the bottom. And I'm just taking a little fluffy clean brush here and I just kind of like to soften everything just make sure it's nice and blended but basically it's kind of that classic look from Chanel a little bit of lightness a little bit of uh, smokiness on the eye and then what we're gonna do is we are gonna load up on the lashes so I pulled out my Chanel base mascara this is the primer and this is gonna like I'm gonna load this up on my lashes and then we are gonna top it with the I think this is the imitable intense mascara so we are gonna kind of focus on lots of lashes here. Okay, we have primed the lashes. And then I actually have this in like the deep brown shade, which I do find pops my eyes. So I am going to take a minute to work on my lashes here. Okay, we've got eyes on, took a little time to really put on some mascara. Before we add any other blush or anything like that, I wanna go ahead and share this cool little Jennifer Aniston lip that I saw that's like basically my perfect lip 
color. I'm a little bit obsessed since I saw this. And basically the makeup artist took Mademoiselle and then she topped it with one of the Rouge Coco Bombs in Natural Charm. And then she actually uh, dabbed on a little bit of lively rose wood in the little Chanel number no. one pots. I did end up ordering that. That's how much I loved this lip shade, but it hasn't shown up. So today I'm just going to go ahead and show you the lip color that she created. And basically I'm a Mademoiselle girl. I think this might be the first lipstick that I ever purchased from Chanel um, and I don't know how many tubes I have gone through of this shade. It's kind of like my perfect color here. But what she did was she took Mademoiselle and then she dabbed that on the lips and then she took Natural Charm. And let me show you the tone of Natural Charm is going to be a bit more of like a beige color kind of a caramel beige it's such a good like nude if you're somebody who likes that and then she topped that on top of the mademoiselle right here to create like this perfect shade right here it is like the perfect lip shade so let me show you this on my lips first so she took mademoiselle which is like one of my perfect shades here. And then she took Natural Charm. I just wanna show you how good of a color this turns into. And it's almost like she toned it down just a bit. And it becomes like this perfect shade, especially for Jennifer Aniston that um, kind of has a little bit of that beachy vibe going on. Like almost this is like too like perfectly rose. And then um, I find that Adrian, which is a shade um, that I know Jennifer looks good in, is almost a little too light for me. So I love the fact that she mixed these two. And then she took the... Um, lively rosewood that she'd put on her cheeks and dabbed a little bit onto her lips to make everything a little cohesive. So what I'm actually going to do here is take my lipstick here and rubbing those together, I'm going to add a little bit of this onto my cheeks, kind of a little mom technique. My mom always took a little bit of her lipstick um, and added it to her cheeks. So it kind of again has the whole, brings your whole face together, makes it a little cohesive. Perfect, right there. Add a little bit right here. I'm kind of focusing on the apple of my cheeks here. Needed a little extra color, but I like to add that at the end and I am really liking that. I feel like it's bringing the whole face together, tying the lip, the cheeks, and the eyes together. Okay, full face of Chanel inspired by the Emmys and then I am going to top off my look with fragrance of the day. And for today, I ended up picking out Comet. I love this new release from Chanel. This is just such a gorgeous mm, fragrance. This one actually to me smells like almond powdery goodness. I literally love this so much. This is supposed to have like a cherry blossom note in here. It has this gorgeous iris note and to me this um, I believe it has heliotrope in it um, and that can also smell a little bit like almonds. So to me this has this beautiful opening of some bitter almond. It's slightly powdery. It's basically sort of a sophisticated, I would definitely say more feminine fragrance, and but it's also not like 
too strong. For this particular event, I don't necessarily want to be standing out. I kind of want to have a little understated elegance going on and that's what I would say this fragrance um, will give me. Plus this sort of seemed to go with this overall look. That's kind of what I am feeling like today. So now I am ready for this event. I hope you enjoyed this kind of fun tutorial. Coming up, I will definitely be doing a review of this, um, the Ultra La Tente Compact Powder Foundation. I absolutely love the cream to powder blushes. I cannot give them enough kudos so if you haven't tried one of those um, you will not be disappointed and then I'm so glad I picked up this kind of old school eye quad from Chanel. I love these tones. I love the way that my eye turned out. To be honest there was a few other of these classic Chanel eye quads that I wanted to pick up. So you all let me know if that's something you're interested in or if you just prefer the new launches. Let me know, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will be back with another video soon.